Exponents and radicals. Question 9. Simplify square root of 9 over 12 plus 16 over 75. Okay, so we are involving some fractions now, okay? So as you know, 9 is a perfect square of 3, right? 3 square is 9. So I could write 9 as 3 square. So let me write 3 square first here, right? And 12 is 4 times 2. So I'm right, 4 times 3 is 12. Not 4 times 2, 4 times 3 is 12, right? Let me first write them within the square root. Similarly, 16 is 4 square, right? So let me write 4 square and 75 is 25 times 3. Correct. Now, since we have 3 square square root, we can take out 3 outside. So it becomes 3 here, right? And denominator has got 4. 4 is a square of 2. So it can bring 2 outside. So I'm left with 1 here and 3 here. So in the second term, we have 4 square. So 4 square, so 4 can be taken out, right? And so 1 leaves. And for 25, I can write 5. 25 is 5 square. So I get 4 over 5 plus 1 over 3. You understand how I did it? Let me do it here, here again, right? So I'll show you 4 square. So it was 4 times 4 over 25 is 5 times 5 times 3 square root, right? So, so what I did was I brought one of the 4's outside. Both are there, 4 square. So 1 comes out, right? 16. 4 square is 16. So we're left with 1. And here 5 came out. And we're left with 3, correct? So that is what this is. Now we have, do you see these like terms? Like terms, like take 1 over 3 as an apple. Okay, so we have two like terms which can be combined. So we have 3 over 2 plus 4 over 5 can be added up now because they have a like term 1 over square root 3 which could also be written as this, right? So now you can add them. So how will you make them common denominator? You need to multiply this by 5 and that by 2, right? So it becomes 15 over 10 plus 8 over 10 times 1 over square root 3. Now which is equal to 15 plus 8, 23 over 10 times 1 over square root 3. So that is your answer. Okay. So that is how we can add the radicals. Okay.